defend the world from the return of the Shadow Games, just as the Brave Narrow did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, Vintage Yu Gi Oh! here today, and as you can see, I have probably 20 plus items here to open up for mail day. I've been um, on the road and, and caught in some corona quarantine, so I've compiled some mail here. So um, we should have a lot of really cool, interesting items to open up today. So hopefully, this video doesn't go uh, too long here, but um, it easily could. So we're going to get this big pile of stuff cleaned off and we're going to get right into it. So a lot of this stuff, I'll be up front and forward, um, is not uh, an item that I have purchased. It's for, um, uh, I'm a middleman for a guy over in England. So a lot of this stuff is potentially his. So I'll kind of make note of what is what. And, um, but nonetheless, there should be a lot of, a lot of old school, um, MRD, LLB, um, I think some sealed product. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it here. So I don't think this one is for me, but it's kind of like Christmas here. I don't know what half the stuff is. So we got a couple cards here. Oh, we got a BPT. Let's see if we can get it focused there. There we go. So this is not mine. So I don't know what condition. Um, some white play where it, like scratching on the back, but um, probably near like just solid near mint binder condition. So we have one of about 20 packages down. All right, pack two. All right. So here we have an unlimited Raigeki. I can't imagine. Uh, there's some other card here in the middle. Okay. Wow, he literally just taped this card down to it. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna have to speed through this part of it because this is just stupid how he taped this on here. Okay, so we have a wa <laughs> surprise, wavy blue eyes in a um, magnetic case. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So this is not mine. Um, I'd say this is, you know, pretty rough condition, really bad whitening down there. Probably get like a PSA three or so, but nonetheless, the front looks pretty good. You know, once again, just a good, potential binder card. All right, so another cool mail item there. All right, we'll go on to this box here. This feels pretty heavy. So hard to say what is in it. Okay. So it looks like this one might actually be mine. I, uh, guy pointed me in this guy's direction um, on Instagram and um, Said he had a magic ruler booster box for sale, so I think this is um, it. And it's come in an acrylic case too, so I appreciate um, the case as well as the box. And um, looks like the box is kind of slid apart here though slightly. 
or maybe the box is just a little oversized or something. Okay, yeah, so and there we have it, a first edition Magic Ruler Booster Box. So I have now have two of these, so I'm going to decide if I'm going to open or uh, keep both sealed. And I told him if I did open one, I would let him know if I opened the one that I bought from him or not. All right, so really cool high-end mail item there. Some old school sealed product from 2002. So let's see what we can get here in this box. Oh, I was like, he sent me an empty box. He had somehow taped it to the inside. We have a thousand dragons. So here we have the Thousand Dragon. This is not my card. And let's take a look at it. Front's a little OC. Some white scratching on the back, probably about a near mint eight. So let's get a good view of it there. I'd probably give that about an eight. All right, next mail. Looks to be, uh, feels like another, just, you know, like one card purchase. Nothing PSA related or anything. And it looks like we have a Bee Skull Dragon. Tape to Oblivion in here. First edition. So let's look at this a little closer. Front looks pretty good. And back's got some whitening and some slight scratches. Probably, um, probably a mint eight. Could maybe squeak out a nine depending on how lenient they are on the back. On to the next one. And we are not even close to being halfway through, so. If you, uh, if you like old school mail from Yu-Gi-Oh, then this is the video for you. What do we have? A B or a barrel dragon. It looks like we might have two cards here, or might be double sleeved. So I think we're double sleeved here. So barrel dragon, kind of faded. Front looks pretty good. Um, this is one of the better backs I've seen so far out of the submission. So probably um, it could be a it could be a nine, maybe maybe a ten, but probably a nine nowadays. The last few have been my uh, I've been the middleman for, so no, nothing uh, besides that magic ruler box has been something I've purchased. Here it looks like we have a bunch of. Um, Metal Raiders cards potentially, I know PSA card. So we have Garnesia, Giant Trinade, so uh, kind of a, a hodgepodge. Homerization, Mystical Elf, Man Eater Bug, and Solemn Judgment, and a Horn of Heaven, a Japanese Thousand Eyes Bible, and a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Excellent mint six. So I'm gonna guess this card has a small bend somewhere because it looks rather clean. So I'm gonna guess something something microscopic is wrong with this, but besides edgeware or something. So all these are uh, cool pickups 
and I'll have to look those over a little, a little more after the video. All right, continuing on. He folds of a cardboard box can he put for a Celtic Guardian. What else? Two Celtic Guardians. Once again, not my cards. Uh, we'll come look over them real fast. Wavy variety. And another wavy, so cool stuff there. Potentially gradable. Next item. Bag feels like it's absolutely just empty with some bubble wrap. Probably one card in this heap of bubble wrap. And that one card is an unlimited Blue Eyes White Dragon. And maybe something else, or it could be double sleeved. Double sleeved, it looks to be. So just an unlimited blue eyes white dragon. All right, moving right along. We have a mirror force. So these have uh, kind of went up recently in price. A little harder to find. The hollow looks really Really clean, and the back looks. And uh, the bottom left corner's got a little whitening, but um, centering would probably negate it from getting a 10 anyway, so probably a 9 or an 8 again. Just hard to find cards in 10 condition anymore. All right. We have another. <laughs> mailer within a mailer with someone's address on it that's not mine so they just reused it and within that we have some cardboard a kind of faded maybe wavy variety unlimited uh guy the fierce knight so i'm not gonna take time opening that up but um really cool cool card there all right, we have another uh, box here, but this one feels like it might just have uh, something something lighter in it compared to a booster box. All right. Okay, so this is gonna be a cool item here. And we have a dark paladin. Um, these cards are um, normally a little off-centered, which this one looks a little, little off-centered, but um, overall would, would be good enough to get a 10 based on centering alone. So let's look at that condition really fast. This one is not mine as well. Ooh, that back looks clean. It does have like a factory line kind of right down there. But overall, um, probably at least nine condition. So really good looking card there. Seven more items still, so bear with me. Uh, I've tried to uh, separate what I think is mine um, towards the end of the video, so I think um, we should get into some things that I know a little bit more about eventually. Okay, we're back here, and these should all be all be first edition Metal Raiders. So if we can get it to focus, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 
if we can uh well, I'm going to weigh these after the video, and if we have multiple heavies, I'm going to open um, one of the heavies. So that should be a cool video, or um, if you never see a video, then none of them are heavy. So we'll have old school sealed stuff, especially stuff that I get to open. So look forward to that. And then we have a pretty beat up guy, the Dragon Champion here. Um, these cards are just really hard to find, so I'm sure you didn't pay too much for it, but they're just... Kind of hard to stumble upon, so pick them up when you can. All right, so we got five more items here. I think maybe maybe six. So please do not bend. What are we not bending? Um, something that's not even in the top loader. No wonder you don't want it bent. A Mika Zuka Noyaba. Uh, so this is a card actually I purchased. If you are familiar with tournament pack two cards and especially this card this card is really hard to find centered so this one um, is a little better centered than normal um, so for the price point I decided to pick it up and give it a shot um, the back I mean I'm gonna sub it it's got like some just some whitening here on this bottom corner from how it was cut uh, if we can get to focus so, um, I think it's, it's sub worthy. I'd say it probably get a nine still probably based on the centering, but, um, I don't have one graded at all currently. And, um, you know, nines, there's nothing really wrong with a nine in some cases. Um, you have to be real realistic with your collection goals. Like I don't have an, uh, PSA 10 needle worm and I'm completely fine with not paying 5k for a, a PSA 10 Turner Pack 3 Needleworm because um, it just wasn't that nostalgic to me and sometimes you just have to weigh um, kind of what you want versus uh, what the market offers. So, all right, this is another purchase of mine. This is a, a PSA 8 Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, the guy was selling this for about what? ungraded ones went for and um i couldn't really see anything wrong in the pictures he posted of the card so i i thought well i'll take a chance at it and see um see what's uh, wrong with it with my own eyes so right now i'm looking it over and i'll look it over better after the video but i don't have a psa 10 of that as well so eventually i am trying to upgrade to uh psa 10 level Okay, this box is going to be interesting to open. Feels like a brick. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. So I bought a um, Legendary Duelist Sister of the Roses uh, booster box. I had some, uh, had an eBay coupon and I had some uh, eBay cash going expired. So I don't normally buy newer product, but um, I do like the Legendary Duelist sets. And I, uh, so eventually I'd like to get, I think there's five or six sets released now. So I'd eventually like to get one sealed booster box of those sets, but I know um, I have the Pegasus one, which is the most expensive, so already, so. Eventually, I'll pick up the other ones. Okay. When in doubt, use some force. Okay, what do we have here? Another card taped to the inside of a box. Why do people do this? Who thinks that's a good idea? How am I supposed to get that out of there? Okay, oh yes. So this is another purchase um, of mine. Um, Glass secrets are really hard to come by, and this guy had two for sale. So um, I decided to pick both up. Uh, I might have overpaid a little bit, but um, a really cool, creepy card. And um, uh, definitely happy to own these. And almost impossible to pull. All right, there's copy one. Both were a little OC, which I'm fine with. 
um, because they were in just such good condition otherwise. So I'll look over, uh, look over these a little better off camera, but really two cool cards right there. I do know what the last one is, so I don't remember exactly what this one was. Oh yeah, so I bought this Vampire Lord off eBay, and I messaged him a couple weeks later and said, hey, I don't think you shipped this, and so he, uh, he gave me a small refund and shipped me the card. So we have a Vampire Lord here from Dark Crisis, first edition. Okay, so just looking for a, you know, a binder where they copy nothing crazy. All right. So front looks rather good. And this back looks pretty good too. So I might actually have to grade that. And last but not least, we have one more package here. And um, this is from Bruxen34. I'm sure if you guys follow me, you for sure follow him. He's kind of exploded here on um, YouTube and um, rightfully so. He has some really cool epic openings. So somehow you follow my channel and you don't follow his, um, check it out. He's had some pretty crazy pulls recently, been opening. Um, some old bunch of old school stuff. He's actually crazy enough to have hunted down every TCG pack that came in first edition. And if it didn't come in first edition, he still bought it too. So he's got every champion pack, every tournament pack, um, retro pack, and then, you know, LOB through whatever the latest set is all in first edition. So, um, and he's doing that for a 10,000 subscriber opening. So he's definitely pretty close and, uh, he picked up some of these and, um, I had one at one point and I opened it, but now I've, uh, filled that void of opening one. So this one's going to stay in my collection, um, just for my sealed collection. And here we have an LOB blister from 2002 original so um thank you for that uh, you gave me a pretty decent deal on it and it'll be staying in my sealed collection so now i have a sealed blister and a sealed first edition and a sealed unlimited booster box and then the entire lob set in psa 10 so this pretty much caps off sealed lob or lob in general so thank you to him and uh Pretty long mail day here, a lot of crazy items, and uh, hopefully some bad boys are waiting to be cracked out of these packs, so hopefully you guys will see a video from that, and um, uh, continue uh, watching my channel, and thank you um, if you've subscribed, uh, can't thank you enough for subscribing and continuing to watch my videos, and uh, I look forward to posting more cool, epic, old school videos and uh, don't forget to like and uh, comment on this video with any uh, ideas you have and as always thanks for watching